Welcome back to the Beer Factor Grand Final, where we're going to find the best beer invention in Australia. Tonight, they'll get the $15,000 and become the toast of the nation. And let's not lose our focus, they'll also get this <laughs> giant piece of shit. Now, <laughs> it's very exciting. <laughs> Uh, let's go through the five grand finalists that we've had so far. We've got Deanna Phelan in the Nutcase, Luke Jeffrey in the Esky 2020, round of applause for all of them, Hubert Novak in the Beer Buddy, David Williams in the Kegelizer, and Andrew Hammonds and the Beer Carton Wrapping Cooler. OK, judges, we've got to narrow it down to three. Going to narrow it down to three to see who wins the $15,000. We'll start with you, Josh. What's your favourite grand finalist? Well, all great uh, innovations, I thought, Tommy. But for me, for practicality and its potential for scale, I'm going for Diana's Nutcase. Ooh! Okay. Yeah. It's a simple invention, but it's effective. Absolutely. It's very practical. Okay. All right. Uh, Tommy, uh, which one is your favourite? These guys know a lot more about design. I just went for the thing that I would find the most fun. Yeah. So for me, it's the Beer Buddy. <laughs> okay. All right. The Beer Buddy. <laughs> It lies with you. I mean, your decision now, Sally, means that two people miss out. Yeah, you know, it's it does, very difficult Tom, for you. You know, we did spend a bit of time just nutting out, you know, what, what we're talking about. We're talking about celebrating beer. We're talking about enhancing the beer experience. And the other three really do do that. We're going to go with the unpronounceable, the beer case wrapping thing. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Congratulations. Well, I'm really sorry. That means Never. that you two go home. But thank you so much for uh, taking part in the Beer Factor. And if you could both kindly take your inventions back to my house, I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> Round of applause. <laughs> for our two grand finalists just missing out there just slightly. So this is the top three. I'd like to get them all to do a last-ditch pitch to convince the judges why they should be the winner of the $15,000. But to make it a bit interesting, they've only got 10 seconds, and then they'll get a little bit of this one. Oh. To tell them they've been, you know, their time's up. Uh, are you ready, Andrew? Uh, ready. Okay, I'll give you a quick ten seconds just to give it your best. Your time starts now. Okay, I think my idea is great because it solves the problem of warm beer. It's convenient, it's easy to use, and everyone I've spoken to about it wants one. Oh, I'll get... <laughs> <laughs> great job, Andrew. That was good. Had time to spare. That was good. <laughs> Finishing too early is usually my problem. Oh, okay. but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tom, can I have a go with the horn for the next one? I was uh, going to ask that. Yeah, OK. It's power horn. I don't know well, why I'm doing this. Thank you. <sighs> Sally, you're thinking uh, that... Well, everybody wants one is a good line because, uh, you know, I think he's right. Everybody I know that has seen that thing has wanted one. So yeah. you hit the nail on the head. Yeah, Josh, you feel like your arm's been twisted? A little bit. You make some valuable points there. OK, all That's right, Thomas. I'm not really interested point, yeah. in your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. OK, well, next up we'll go to Diana. Uh, ten seconds to plead your case to the judges. $15,000 up for grabs. You know, it's a... Uh, you know, this is your last chance. Your time starts now. It's a simple and effective design and it can be adapted to a range of snacks. It can be de marketed to a wide demographic and it solves the hygiene issue of eating snacks at bars and parties. Oh, <laughs> I think that was a very good pitch. I'm a little bit worried that Tommy wasn't listening because he was concentrating on watching the 10 seconds countdown. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was, I was so excited. Give the horn I know. back. Give the horn back. That's I think give the red horn back to Dad. Give the horn back. Right, yeah, here we go. Let Dad Get take of care that of that. Thing. Okay, here we go. Bloody Nora. Okay. Uh, anyone can any, push anyone in any directions there? I like the hygiene note. I quite like that whole other yes. section that I hadn't thought of. Well, uh, Hubert Novak. He's got the beer buddy there. This is your last chance to convince them. It's $15,000. I know that you want it bad. Your time uh, starts now. Uh, size does matter. Um, <laughs> how, do, how do I compete? I mean, we've got two different products that are easy to make, cheap to make, sellable. This is an eye-catching invention <laughs> that markets... Oh, come on. <laughs> You know what, though? I know the time ran out there, but, yeah, it was sort of an anti-cell. It was the anti-cell. I, 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 I admire know. what you're trying to do there, Hugh, but you kind of went for the good guy angle. <laughs> Coming up after the break, we'll find out who will win the $15,000 and the title of Australia's premier beer pioneer. Who's going to win? Who's going to win beer factor? Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Who's, who's going to win it now? <laughs> Well, here we are.
at the grand final of the beer factor. It's time to announce the, the winner of the whole thing, the winner of the $15,000. Very exciting. It must have been hard for you to make a choice, Sally. Like, how yeah, did the judges work it, it out? Was, it was hard. You know what's interesting, Tom, is that we're all coming at it from different perspectives. Josh is interested in commercialisation, and I actually think there's more than one finalist that he's pretty keen to commercialise. So I think that's pretty exciting. OK. Um, Tommy is coming at it from a purely what intelligent I love, point of view. highly intelligent, very specialised <laughs> point of view. Yeah. And I'm always looking for innovation. Okay. And so the three of us have arm wrestled our way through this. We're really, really quite stoked about this result. OK. Well, I get to read it out. Oh, yes. Very exciting. OK. Get a bit of a drum roll from our elbow skin boys out the back. Don't peep. The winner is... Andrew Hammondson is cut rep! Congratulations to Andrew Hammonds and the beer carton wrapping cooler. Australia's premier beer pioneer. Winner of $15,000. Well done. For more information about all our finalists, go to thebeerfactor.com.au. Thank you for watching. I'd like to say a big thanks to our judges, Tommy, Sally and Josh. And, of course, most importantly, a very big thanks to Han. I'm going to go have a quiet one. Good night! What friendships are made of, why stories are told. It's beer, we drink it round here. We drink it at the pub. We drink it at a party from an ice-filled bath. Drink it while you're watching the telly. Rest your beer on your belly. Oh, that's one tasty drop. It is the full for the hops, malt, water and yeast. Unleash the beer. They drink it kind of warm. The Nordics drink it from a horn. The Germans drink it from a stein. The Irish drink it all the time. Lag a bit of porter or an ale. Hepalites and or a pale. Double, triple or a stout. If it's not beer, pour it out. Just, Just pour that drink out. And if you don't drink beer, then that's just dandy. Why don't you go and have a shandy? Or maybe dry ginger, a fresh lime and brandy. You can have your wine, you can talk about the vines. You can swirl it round your glass, or you can stick it up your... Jesus turned water into wine. Biggest cock-up of all time. Should have turned it into beer. It had two Christians here. We've turned Christian for beer. Drinking God's tears. It's the drink of the year. What it means. It means I can stop stressing about a lot of things. There's $15,000 to go towards fixing up my car and stuff like that. It's going to help out a lot. I'd like to thank Channel Go. Um, Beer Factor, the whole team here, you guys have been great. Um, Han, family, friends, thank you guys for your support. Uh, my girlfriend, thanks babe. Marnie, Jenny, hi Jenny. Um, thanks for helping me out with the sewing machine and all. Hi mom. What it means. Oh, what a little ripper.